my loves and welcome to my Sunday reset routine. In this routine I do little things like cleaning my environment, mostly my bedroom of course, but I love to have a clean room. I definitely think a clean room equals a clear mind and that means a lot to me. I also do some things to mentally prep, like taking some time off my phone for the day and writing down some aims for the week. This definitely sets some great intentions and I love this little routine of mine. I hope you guys enjoy and keep watching. After I freshened up in the bathroom, which I definitely think wakes me up a lot, splashing my face with some water and doing some skincare makes the biggest difference, I sit down and I do some journaling. Journaling is something I have done on and off for a while now, but I'm definitely loving it at the moment. I think quarantine has definitely brought a love back for it, and you guys will see here what I like to do. I love journaling, especially in the morning. I find it definitely sets great intentions for the day. And journaling on a Sunday definitely sets great intentions for the week. I love to write down some aims for the day so that I get some things done in my little routine. I only write down a few things like changing my bed sheets, hoovering, showering and cleaning the bathroom a little bit. They're small things but they're important to get done so that I start afresh on Monday. I also journal some things I am grateful for and sometimes some manifestation which I enjoy doing as well. I love physically writing and writing in a notebook. I find this just so therapeutic. I love notebooks, I love handwriting. So this is just a nice little time for me when I get to sit down in the morning and write this stuff out. After I finished journaling, I changed my bed sheets. I aimed to change my bed sheets on a Sunday, but obviously plans change and we can't always stick to that. I just always have a great sleep when I have fresh bed sheets, which is definitely a mentality thing, but it is something I definitely am very grateful for and appreciate. We often have pancakes on Sunday since I was very little. It's a tradition my mom started and it's always something that I appreciate and adore. We are obviously a bit older now and everyone's so busy all the time that we only get to do it about twice a month but it's still such a gorgeous routine of ours and I adore it. So after those pancakes I headed outside with Elton to get some fresh air which was so needed and the sun was finally out so thank you Ireland for blessing us with some vitamin D for once. For me the biggest part of this Sunday reset routine is to try and stay off my phone as much as I can. It's all about slowing down for me and taking a breath when I can and sitting outside in the sunshine was the best way to do that.
I love to sit down and watch a YouTube video while I drink my coffee on a Sunday morning. A lot of my favourite creators over there post on Sunday mornings and I find this gives me great inspiration and creativity for the day and the week ahead. After all of that relaxing though, it is time to get some stuff done. As you can see, my wardrobe gets quite messy sometimes as life can be pretty chaotic. So I like to catch up on this and get this cleaned and get my laundry sorted. So that's what I did. I find that it's very easy to close your wardrobe door and pretend it's not happening, but I really like to have this fresh and clean as when I wake up on Monday morning to go get changed and I see a beautiful clean wardrobe, it definitely makes the biggest difference. I organized my skincare and my makeup in the bathroom as sometimes it gets quite chaotic. While I did that, I listened to a great audiobook all about habits. I'm really interested in this audiobook as I find we're all in the unknown when it comes to college and school next year and even work. We don't know whether we will be in full time or at home. So I think creating habits in a home workspace is something really important and something I want to learn more about and do more of. I find cleaning can be a great time to educate yourself on a few things, which is so important, especially now that we're out of school and we have been for quite a while. So listening to audiobooks and podcasts is something I always do while I clean. I find this so therapeutic and it makes cleaning go much quicker. I think it's really relaxing and almost sounds like you're in a conversation with somebody and I really enjoy it, especially when there's a purpose to it. After cleaning up my environment so much, it's definitely time to get me cleaned up. I hopped in the shower and I washed my hair, which is such a great feeling. Afterwards, I put on a face mask, which is really nice. I only do this once every two weeks though, because it's quite strong. After an early dinner, I headed out to the beach with my dog Elton and my mom and my dad. It was a beautiful evening, even though there was a storm coming in, but I love to walk in the evening. I think I love it even more than walking in the morning, as I find it just clears my head before bed and it's usually exactly what I need. I am incredibly lucky to live near the sea and I definitely find the ocean incredibly therapeutic. I loved watching the rain clouds coming closer to us as I love how dramatic it all is. But yes, it was a beautiful walk. I got such nice fresh air and I enjoyed it very much. It was such a nice way to end my evening and to end my weekend.
When I got home, I reevaluated my aims for the day. I got almost everything done, which I was incredibly happy with, and I felt great about it when I ticked them all off the list. After I ticked everything off, I began writing down some aims and video ideas for the week when it comes to YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. I was struggling quite a bit this week with motivation for YouTube as I get so discouraged sometimes because I can be very negative on myself. So I sat down, I wrote down some video ideas so I wouldn't be so intimidated about what to do next. I found this really helpful and was quite a weight off my shoulder that I can refer to this notebook now and know what I need to do next. Of course I had to treat myself to some iced tea and chocolate in the evening. It's really important to reward yourself, especially after hard days or even days just like this. You got some stuff done and it's important to reward that. I put my fresh bed sheets on, which I was very excited for, and then I sat down, turned off my main lights and got nice and cozy in my bed. I watched a little bit of YouTube before closing my laptop and just scrolling a little bit of on Pinterest. I love to scroll Pinterest in the evening. Again, it sends me off to sleep with some creativity in mind. So yes, that's my Sunday reset routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just find it so important to sit down before a busy week and get yourself ready if you can. Of course, I can't do this every single Sunday. But sometimes I try to do at least two of the things on this list, like going for a walk or writing down some aims. Sometimes it only takes a few minutes, but setting aside a little bit of time for you is really important before a new week. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope I will see you guys again soon.